What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. We're all set. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming back Ribbon Grata! Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fellas! I know we got a brand new single called Close Eyes that just came out. I know it's been quite a long time since we hung out. First, this is my brother. He's in the studio today. As, What's up, guys? Nice as, to meet you all. As like a co-host. But uh, just it's been so long since we talked. What's been going on? I, 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 we love the new single Closed Eyes, but what's been going on? What can you tell us? Oh man, it's lately we got fucking uh, new drama with us, Dan. Uh, nice, well, Dan. Welcome, months, welcome. welcome. Three months in here, just yeah. holding it down. They've been doing a lot of work without me, obviously. So yeah, recording. We got more music coming up soon. So uh, another three songs for an EP, and then um. Been just fucking geeking heaps, eh? I yeah. see. I see the hair. The hair's gotten a little longer since last time we chatted. <laughs> Are you guys going to going to the uh, the same the same producer, or, or did you did you just work with somebody different, or how are things different as as just when you go about attacking a single that gets released to us? Oh uh, well, um, we went to a dude like in Brisbane, which is like an hour away from where we live, and spent a bit more money and you know got it done right this time and i think we picked the right person so i yeah. agree i agree I, right. I can i can tell right away the production on closed eyes has like a substantial step up from uh the previous stuff and i remember I'm, i've been saying this all day i remember last time we hit a lot of billies while we were hanging out together boys <laughs> so uh, i'm assuming that's cool today that we do the same how are the marijuana laws over there right now? Have they eased up? Speak of the devil, sir. I was just going to say, I've got this is a, some prescription drugs. It's excellent. a controlled drug excellent. that the government offers me. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah, excellent. Party time. Wait, we're <laughs> Get medicated. This is the nighttime, though. So this is nighttime. And you got quite a few options. Honestly, I'm turning 40 this month, my man. Happy and birthday. I'm, I'm kidding. Happy birthday, but I'm Canadian as well, for the record. And um, oh, no, anyway, so growing up, you know, marijuana was super illegal. So now it's like super everywhere. So it's pretty exciting. So you can just go buy it. Dan, and just you, say I can't sleep. Dan, you must you be you must be two months older than my brother, because he turns forty on October twenty sixth. I'm August sixteenth, baby. There it is. Literally, you guys are so close in age. First of all, we've talked about this before, and I've never told anyone my age. Sorry. <laughs> this is the second time me and my brother have discussed this. Revealed. Sorry. My and uh, this is not this, this has nothing to do with the interview. What happens What happens now beyond uh, Closed Eyes? Are you guys going to go back to the same producer? Are we going multiple singles? There's an EP album in the works. What, what happens now? Well, um, we've already recorded all the, all the EP pretty much, so... We're just working on new tracks while we um, release that out. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah. We got this other mic. Does this help it come in more intense? Yo. I, it sounds a little better. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. So um, we um, spent, uh, I think we were there for about four days, put four songs in, a song a day, and working. So that should be dropping. Um, was it all, all those four are already happened. are already done? Yeah, it's yeah, just it's just up. on on him to, to finalize the mix master and or just the the timing strategy of of how to drop the singles throughout the rest of twenty twenty four or maybe it, it, it extends into twenty twenty five. Like I just want to pick apart your guys' brain about the process of of how a band goes about the strategy of releasing singles. Like, do you time it with certain show announcements like what is your guys plan i think at the moment it's mainly just timing it and uh so it just we can just strategically place them over the next you know couple months that way we can record the next stuff and 
just keep dropping and releasing stuff for everyone now and keep it a bit more consistent mainly. Yeah, it was more the, um, we recorded the songs at the start of the year. It was getting the money for the mixing and stuff to help us up a little bit. Obviously, it's a really expensive process. So just once we had the money sorted out to get it mixed, we said lock and load, send it out. Now we're looking to get the next three songs out before the end of the year, hopefully. So, so do you guys have an expected release date so far for the other three? Oh, dude. Well, um, we're thinking probably in the next six, six, eight weeks, we'll release the next single. Nice. And then probably another two months after that, just drop the rest of the EP with it and see how that goes. Do you have a title for the EP? You don't uh, have yeah, to reveal it now if it's right if now. it's like, you know, saved for later reasons. I totally understand that, but uh <laughs> have you selected the title? We've already spewed it out, haven't I? Yeah. It's forever and out, so Forever uh, and Out. And out. Yeah. <laughs> How did you come to that decision? Um well it was actually I'm learning as well. Here we go. We came up with that name like ages ago. We like always had it in mind that um even with like since we have had the previous members, like it was just kind of like that's that's gonna be the next title of the release. It's been set in stone for a fair while now, the mm. title. <laughs> so we actually and, had a... and it's cool now, so I love it. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Now we actually had a question about some of the cover art on your latest single. Uh, we noticed kind of the font at the very top. It kind of looked very like Edgar Allan Poe-ish. We noticed a raven on top. Were we picking up something there, or were you guys like uh, I don't know, dropping a hint? Like, let us know. Uh, Dan, because I'm familiar with your guys' music for so long, my brother had never noticed that, and I don't think I'd ever noticed that in the new font for what you guys put out. There's like a the raven or a crow in the Rimmy the on the Y. Is there a particular reason for that? Um, I think you know, like I've heard this come up at a show before. Someone said asked us if it was like an Edgar Allan Poe reference, but it, that was, I don't think that was ever in, like in mind. It was, um, it was kind of like one of the first concept logos that like got drawn up and then I think it just sort of stuck, but uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's just a good, uh, you know, I, like I think it, it fits. It's, you guys kind of have like a darker side of the style of genre that you do. Sure especially with like the aggressive style of screens that you present so it, like it fits like a i i think that the crow or the raven or what what have you like matches the band's sound it's like the conclusion yeah. that we came to like it, it's kind of mysterious dark angsty aggressive but like it fits the the darkness of it uh, is the easiest way we could say it so we we thought it was a cool fit like a cool little touch I always thought the same thing, basically, with the first EP, with Arnold, the first EP, with the Reaper and whatnot. It definitely suits the theme and all, you know, all the things that go along with it, like the teenage angst and whatnot that we talk about in the first EP and all that. I must ask this, before we do trivia, I must ask this. On the, on the, on the most recent production version of All Your Friends Are Dead, has anyone ever said the guitar riff sounds like Switchfoot? Yeah, I've, I've definitely heard that. Like you have heard that before. <laughs> but some um, it was, it, you know, like it wasn't necessarily in mind, but like I've heard it over the years from you know different people or even like the bands even mentioned it a couple of times. But um, you know, I do. You know, I do love that song by Switchfoot, actually. But, uh, you know, when when you're writing, I don't think I was necessarily thinking thinking that song in the back of my head when that song right. came out. <laughs> Everything sounds like something. It totally yeah. does. Yeah. It, it, every song reminds me of another song. I totally get it. It's only seven um, chords, man. Boys, did we bring the hot sauce? I got I got the next Billy ready to go. I'm about, I'm about we're about I'm about to rip. But uh, do we bring the hot sauce for the follow up trivia? Yeah, we got, we've got a straight couple bottles. We've got a straight All right, and then... We've got the good one. 
And then afterwards, whoever is ready to chug a beer with me, I am fully ready to challenge <laughs> one of you to a full beer. So you want to do ready. a beer chugging contest? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to challenge. Yeah, so, the, a I want to challenge the Aussies. I got. I got this one. It's here. That's how much I, I need, got. We need full ones, don't we? It's got a sip. Or do we want a crack? So take one, one sip. All right, her, her. This is so an, this, this so is the an first un open, unopened beer. I will take take a sip. Okay. What are What are we thinking for the trivia follow up trivia? Any movie or TV show that we look up this movie or TV show? There's no way we stump you guys because you've seen it so many times. Oh, I don't do this. Uh, just do like school of rock. Are not? School of rock. Like. The school of rock movie with Jack Black? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's such a good yeah, movie. Okay. Guys, I went to college with the kid who ended up playing um, one of the like lighting guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was so random. It's so cool. random. He was a kid, and we, we, he was a year above me in college. Interesting. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I need a second on the on the trivia, but uh, uh, regarding the uh, the the songs that you guys have recorded so far, is there any local artist or anything that you reached out to to maybe just jump on and do like a hey do do a last verse vocal for us a scream wise anything that we can know about like secrets of the the songs that are coming oh dude we've been talking about getting someone in for something we didn't get one we didn't get anyone for licks for like the next few releases necessarily but we're definitely thinking about getting some friends up from from some other bands we've been fresh beer to say so it's it's coming it's, it'll come sometime yeah <laughs> no, as far as the ep goes we didn't get any features on that one but we do do we love to do that shit for live shows and all that sort of thing like you know sometimes we've got this a mate oscar really talented vocalist and he's always at all the shows supporting us and yeah, sometimes I'll just shout out Oscar. Yeah, yeah like him, shout out Oscar. Thanks for that. We'll throw him the mic sometimes and just surprise him with it. He actually filled in for a show uh, a couple. He's too little. Yeah, he did two actually. shows for the. Past as like as like months. full on vocals the whole show. Yeah, well, Riley had um, he had some sort of flu going on and he was fully down and out. Luckily, he was still able to play guitar up there with us. But we got Oscar on for vocals on those shows and. He smashed it out of the park and wow. we wouldn't be able to play the shows if we didn't get him on, so it was awesome. That is really cool. That is cool. Way to have the homie set, but and kudos <laughs> to you, Riley, for being able to just still power through and, and, and play the instrument and play guitar, bro. I was sweating my shit out on the, one of the shows. Like, I've like, never like, seen him play guitar. I was just so trying not to like, cough. I was just like, holding back all night. No, nah, the one thing crazy. I noticed is when I noticed that night, when I was looking at Riley, I noticed that when he's not doing vocals, he moves around so much more, and he was doing jumps and kicks and all this stage presence shit that I'd never seen him do before. So it was cool. Like <laughs> it's a little different <laughs> element for that you. That is cool. That is cool. It was good too because someone was taking photos of this show, and so there's like these sick photos of all of yeah. Riley's just like, oh yeah, like a ninja kick. It's good to have. Actually. So. Like it's good when photography star. Exactly, he's like such a win. Got some sick photos out of that, didn't that? That moon person. Yeah. Sick photos. How good are sick photos? Well, we gotta we gotta attempt to stump on you guys. You got to pick. Well, let's go. You got well, to pick School of Rock. Us? You got to pick School of Rock. You Great. got to pick. Here we go. Tough what trivia. Was was, and this is how we're gonna stump you. Grab the hot sauce now, because you're go. gonna be go. chugging it. I'm gonna stump you right now. Here we go. Jack Black is in the classroom and he's asking for singers of the band. He says, hey, who wants to join my band? Who wants to be a singer? A girl named Marta says, I want to sing. What song does she sing for Jack Black? School of Rock. Come on, guys. What song does she sing? I don't know. This is when he I'll says, Who wants to be a singer of my band? And a couple of people stand up. What song does Marta sing for right. Jack Black? Memories. No, it's like Kiss or something, isn't it? No, I don't know. Fuck. It's seriously like, I, I don't watch a lot of movies anymore. 
Do, is there a lifelines? Do we get a lifeline? My son's here. Hey, do you know? No. <laughs> that is the stunt boys God. enjoy the hot sauce shot it is tomorrow tomorrow i love you tomorrow we're only a day away cheers who's the beer challenge let's go, brother. Let's go. you ready to go so, so you guys are it's a fake all right Dan, here we go no, three, two, two, three two, one. one go yeah I won't win, so I'll just admit defeat. Oh, he's still going. He's gone! Done. Gone! Oh. Test it. It's <laughs> empty. It is empty. It's squished. <clears throat> Oof. <laughs> I tried. Mine's a bottle. It's a bit less. Oh, yeah. Not okay. <laughs> <sucking sucking. laughs> just how, like how the Australian. How did Riley? Oh. How did Riley find you? To to jump in and join Rumi Grassa, how did how, would they were you guys at a show and just saw you kicking ass or how did they find you, bro? Uh, it's kind of a weird story. I've been playing music my whole life, kind of thing. So I took, some, I was on some time off, I guess you could call it. That was because I've been touring Australia with some previous people, blah blah blah. So I get a phone call from a friend, who's the sound guy at the precinct. His name's Julian. Shout out. He's a drummer friend of mine. Um, anyway, I've just been doing music a lot on the coast, so I know a lot of fucking people that play music, you know what I'm saying? So this guy calls me up. These guys looking for a drummer. I'm like, okay. And I'm just fucking, I'm pretty excited at this point. I've been playing about a year, right? So I'm itchy, itchy, bro. Itchy for the itchy, itchy, witchy. He anyway. said, I'm super excited. So I'm so excited. Just give this kid a call. I start connect with him, listen to the music. Kind of reminds me when I was younger, playing like some, some hardcore like like hate breed right that had that sound to it so i enjoyed that because i was listening to the new stuff you guys haven't even heard yet <laughs> so oh. so um, so i got to hear the new stuff and the new stuff's real good right so and i'm excited i'm like all oh, right i'm gonna join this band so i get to join the band that i is actually the new shit's real tight man so and i'm just talking as like a guy who just listened to it so i guess i'm kind of sucking off here on myself but um yeah the, the new stuff really sounds good man and i'm, I'm honored to get the call and then we talked and here I am, three months in, and they had a lot of shows, so we just kind of, and I'm always a yes man to music, so, like I said, quit high school to do the shit, so, here we are, we got three boys ready to hit the ground running, hopefully. I just want to add to that, I love having Dan in the band. The sort of energy he brings is just awesome, it's always positive, and he's fucking killer on the drums. So when you guys sent like when you guys sent Dan the the tracks that he listened to, was there no drum uh, on there at all? And he was th he's thinking, yo, um, I can I can add to this. I can tell you this. So it's an interesting connection Riley and I kind of have, really, because we we've, we've kind of listened to a lot of the same music growing up. As I have a bit of an age difference, but he's quite he's got an interesting palette, if you could call that, as well as myself. I don't know much about Billy's palette, but I will find it out. <laughs> uh, but him and I, but Riley and I spent a lot of time jamming, and we've got a lot of the same kind of just whatever musically. We just work the same, and when Billy's around, we all kind of click that way as well. So back to what you're saying, I've asked, I've told Riley because he actually programmed some of the drums, and on the new things. And I said, look, if you want to do that, bro, that kind of helps my brain, you know, because we already play the same. I trust the way he would write it and want it to be, yeah. and so I can try my best to mimic that, you know. So it's kind of just that way, just trusting, because he's writing the songs. Chances are I'm probably going to want to play what his brain's going to create, because we've just clicked that way. Like when we jam, it just happens, you know? We're like, oh, sure, man, sure, we're just sure. busting out these these breakdowns. So I just trust him that way. So we, I had that conversation with him, actually. I said, yo, man, you because he would send me the, the, the guitar, just the guitar, and I could write it, but I was like, I just don't got a lot of time, you know? So we can, the, the, the songwriting process can be, a lot faster that way when you've got that kind of that kind of you know i guess trust and just 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 vulnerability you know for real just like yo you can write my part i don't care because it's basically just the structure it makes everything move faster and so i think it's awesome what do you reckon is that what you because because we had that conversation I think as musicians, it's pretty good that we can do that. I love that. I uh, love how you like talk like that in like band lingo. Like we're jamming, and, and you just you know, if you click, you click. You you know if you're if it's vibing, and if it's not vibing, like ah, he's not the guy. This is the guy. 
Like you, you yeah. got that vibe, and you like this. Yeah, Dan is yeah, Dan is the man. Is the vibe that we got <laughs> right away. <laughs> My man. But like I said, man, it's, it's honored. It kind of just happened, right? So it's three months. We're just hitting the power. We're going on tour soon. So who are you guys going on tour with? Uh, oh, Riley can talk about that. Are we allowed to, to oh, oh, discuss this, or is this beans, not bro. is this not announced yet? Spilling the beans on the lingo, wingo. <laughs> We're just going, we're going interstate tour south, you know, mm-hmm. like we're just hitting up all the local bands in each town and see how it goes, four or five shows and what, seven, eight days. Yeah. So, uh, so this is more of like a, you guys DIY'd it, you contacted all the venues, you got, you're getting a hold of all the locals. This, this guy here, this, this little man. Riley, yeah, that's what I'm life. fucking talking he's about, bro. That's, that's, what, it, that's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah, you gotta you gotta take it by the balls and just go, bro. And that's what you've done. Like the engine, he's the nitros. He's the nitros for the engine, bro. He makes sure we get somewhere to go. You know, man. No one else is, you know, giving us shows, so I'll fucking fucking make it up. And you know, like if you want to fucking go somewhere, fucking just fucking do it. Like you know, it's a bit of fucking work, you know, and. A lot of time, but it's uh, a lot of work. I love that. It's worth it. It's worth it. It'll be real fun. It's worth it. It'll be an experience, and uh, it'll be just good to fucking get somewhere and go in a state for once and see parts of Australia that I haven't even been to. Yeah. So, 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 where are you guys going in Australia? Yeah, like staying like around like. Are you in the south, like Melbourne? You going to Sydney, Cairns? What? Where are you going? Brizzy? Yeah, we're going. Um, so we're going to start in Melbourne. We're going to head down to Canberra, the capital, and then um, we're going to Sydney and Newcastle, and we might be going to Albury. Yes. Okay. And then, so that's uh, three three states in, like, fucking well. Yeah, that's, that's good for you guys. That's awesome. That's a big little that's tour. Awesome. A big little tour you got going on there. We are, we're almost out of time, but, boys, if it's okay well, with you guys, I say we rip it, chug something. And uh, we look forward to to the now. the three other singles coming. Hell yeah! Close eyes is a banger. We played it. We, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We we played the we Sriracha. played uh, we played it yesterday, and immediately I noticed a jump up of in production and quality, uh, just right out of the gate. So so the gentleman that you're working with, I think, is a very the, fantastic idea. The right R- direction for the band. Riley, again, kudos to you for just taking that 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 hustle. And that fire and just setting up this this mini run, bro. A lot of bands and, and artists that we talk to on a regular I talk to on a regular basis won't even do that. So be proud of yourself, homie. You did this. Fuck yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah! what I'm saying. <laughs> Good for you, dude. And Dan, welcome to the band, man. And welcome to the band, Dan. Oh man. <laughs> we'll be over that neck of the woods soon, man. We hope to come and actually shake your hand one day, eh? Oh, no, please. Please. And Billy, we didn't forget about you, bro. I see you got the beer in your hand. Let's chug. Let's go. I need a new Let's beer. Go. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Right, I'm just grabbing something. Got, oh, wait, he's, he's, got, he's grabbing it. He's grabbing it. It won't take me long. Cheers, boys. Ready, I, I think I think good things are coming. Substantial Thanks level so up now. since oh, wait, the last wait, wait, wait. time we talked. Uh, just we'll get Riley good. a shot. You got 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Riley's sure, sure, of course. Oh, Be yeah, a we, GF. We got a GF for you in the house. We got time. I'm, I'm about to do a double I see you with the tequila, Riley. I see you. I, uh, uh, to Remy yeah, Grasa's yeah. success. Hey, cheers. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I love doing that with the band. That was fun. And then if you want to jump in on this too, I'll have to put a warning on YouTube and say, hey, there was weed consumption. They're used to it. <laughs> uh, it's legal though, hey. Legal in this country. You can say that much. Oh yeah, it's legal here. Recreational here. <laughs> It's, it's legal here, it's but but what happens like we're in the great state of California. You can just I, have, say I have to tell YouTube like, like, hey, your boy's legal. getting high in this video, so just say let all the drugs know. here consumed were legal. That's what you need to say. <laughs> sure, yeah, legally if, obtained. <laughs> all these drugs were legally obtained. Like two years ago, about an eight-hour drive north of us in a state above us right. in Oregon. They legalized every drug, which I thought was a terrible decision. On, but uh, you can go do anything you want yeah, over there. Really okay, it, it it's not. It can't be everything. It's everything. No, it's they not, have designated. It can't be like heroin. They have designated heroin usage places. That's wild. 
but you can't sell it. <laughs> what so, a crazy place. So Oregon. if you can get it, we're, we all book a trip to Oregon. Then you're partying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in Oregon. <laughs> oh, okay. Mystery man. Thanks for oh, hanging. So cool. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for having us. Thank you, boys. Oh, for real, though. Okay, okay. Riley, Billy, Dan, we uh, thank you guys for taking the early morning time. I know it's early over there to to come party and hang with us. Uh, again, Closed Eyes is fantastic. If that's what we're going to get in the next three or four singles, fuck Can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. Yeah, I mean, for real. You guys are on the right path. Again, Riley, kudos for putting on and, and, and setting up the entire band tour which again, I, I just want to reiterate: a lot of bands that watch the show do not even have the gumption or or pizzazz under their ass to just, to just go about that route. So kudos to you, homie, for doing that, and uh, just make the best of it, boys. Also, my advice would be: something will probably go wrong. Make sure that you've done so many run-throughs. You've got a plan B. Dan's uh, triggers go out. I don't know if you have triggers. Uh, your anything, just make sure you have a plan B because something will, will go wrong, and just you have uh, you know a way to bounce back from it and, and, and make that's sure. actually that's actually a good point. He told me the other day. He goes, we saw Wind Waker live, and uh, he goes, I hope they have an encore song ready to go, and I hope they have an encore song B ready to go. He goes because you never know what the audience is going to be hitting. You never know, and 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 like I think I think Wind Waker at our show could have gone on for like another three or four songs. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Wind Waker, yeah, yeah. but this was the first time they ever played the states, and they were the opening, opening, opening band here, and uh, they only got to do like six songs. It was for it's for North Lane, and but, uh, so it was a, it was a huge show, and like it was the the record was there and blah 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 and like i, I want it encore on encore on encore you they can't killed you, it. you they can't killed in those I, know, I know i know i know i know i know i know they were the opening show i know anyway whatever have some backups just in case <laughs> yeah some something will occur but make sure you know you've got the the all that stuff checked checked and uh, ready yeah. to go i'm sure you guys will you're professionals boys again thank you so much uh i'll, I'll it's gonna be late 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 tonight but for you it'll probably be two or three p.m in the afternoon, I'll shoot you the YouTube link, which will probably drop for you 9 or 10 p.m. your time. But for me, it'll be first thing in the morning. If that's okay with you guys, we'll get this we'll get this out there and let people know more about Remy Gross because they need to know, especially about the information that you gave us today. Boys, this is fun. I appreciate you. Riley, Billy, Dan, Remy Gross! Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Check out that new single, Closed Eyes! <laughs> Cheers, fellas. This is fun. I appreciate it. Later, guys. Thank you.